Hello everyone, welcome to our art class. This is your teacher, Ms. Thea G. Vasquez. Enjoy the lesson! As a guide to the multiple intelligences we will use for this discussion, these small icons that you will find in the upper part of the presentations are indications that our activities, tasks, or discussions will shape your naturalist intelligence, interpersonal intelligence, logical mathematical intelligence, intrapersonal intelligence, verbal linguistic intelligence, musical intelligence, bodily kinesthetic intelligence, and of course, your visual spatial intelligence. Hello everyone, for our learning target for today. I can identify the difference between 2D and 3D to distinguish the use of space and how to show and create it in my drawing to achieve dimensions. For our art attack. Let us compare, let's find out, let's see, know how, identify. Hello everyone, are you familiar with these kind of cartoons? What do you think, are there difference? What do you think is the difference between the two pictures? Write your answers. Let's find out. Well done. Here are the answers. A 2D art represent two dimensions only, like length and height. It is flat, and there is no width. While in 3D art, represent the three dimensions, the length, width and height. It is lifelike, or seems real, and there is width and depth. Aside from length, width, and height, what other factors can we see in a three-dimensional drawing? What makes them near, or far to the object nearest to them? What do we call this element? One of the elements present in the picture, is space. Space is one of the classic seven elements of art, which refers to distances or areas around, between and within components of a piece. The gap in between two objects, or distance, from the background. Because of space, we can determine that the object has sides, and has distance from the background. How do we measure space or distance? Or how can we tell, how far is the object from the background? It is depth. Depth is the distance from front to back or near to far in an artwork. Techniques of perspective used to create the illusion of depth in paintings or drawings. What happens to our drawing if we apply space, depth, and distance? It makes the drawing look realistic and it creates an illusion. How do we show space on our drawing? Or how do we do it? How do we create depth in our drawing? When it comes to drawing and painting, it is important for artists to be able to create the illusion of space on a 2D surface. In reality, all realistic or representational art is dependent on creating an illusion. If creating realistic art is what you're after, then having the ability to create the illusion of space on a 2D surface is a skill that you need to master. It makes the drawing look realistic, and it creates an illusion. 
we have overlapping, shading, placement, size, value and focus, and linear perspective. Overlapping is when one object is positioned in front of another object. Part of the object behind it may be blocked from view. Size Objects that are closer to a viewer appear larger than objects that are further off in the distance. Shading Light and shadow create the illusion of form and space. Objects that are closer appear more detailed than objects that are further away. Value and focus Objects that are closer to a viewer appear darker in value and warmer in color. Objects that are further away appear lighter in value and cooler in color. Linear perspective The guiding principle of this technique is that objects that are closer to the viewer appear to be larger, where objects that are further away appear to be smaller. In order to accomplish this, the artist places a horizontal line across the surface of the picture, which is known as the horizon line. Parallel lines or orthogonal then converges as they recede and meet at the vanishing point on the horizon line. Placement Generally, objects that are positioned lower on the picture plane will appear closer than objects that are positioned higher on the picture plane. Objects higher in a picture appear to be in the distance. Space is one of the classic seven elements of art, which refers to distances, or areas around, between and within components of a piece. The gap in between two objects, or distance, from the background. Also, the three-dimensional effects enable us to see beyond common and to appreciate more a certain object it also helps us to solve problems and to achieve balance and make things organized by arranging it properly i hope that you've learned the lesson i prepared for you don't hesitate to leave a message if you have questions Pointers to review, types of shading techniques, chiaroscuros, origin of pencils, space and depth, and illusion of space. Reminders, finish and submit your product task about the shading techniques. Drawing of old objects, please take note that we will have a quiz next meeting.